Hi petals, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here and welcome to your soul alignment session. I'm Aura and I'm going to be your guide today to bring you through the messages, the confirmations, the clarity, insights and any activations and integrations that you're needing today on an energetic and soul level. I hope that you're doing really well. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's amazing to have you here. So as I'm connecting with your energy today, whoever is tuning in, I heard that you are a warrior of light. You are a warrior of light. And there's some kind of blessing here that is coming through for you for something that you have walked away from. And I heard there is a blessing for walking away. So I feel like you have walked away from something. You've chose to leave something behind. You've chose to move on from something, to go in a different direction. I'm hearing you you chose to choose you is a message that's coming through and I feel like this energy of like toxicity so I feel like there's something that you've navigated away from that was toxic for you your energy and where it is that you are wanting to move towards so you've released some sort of toxicity around you whether this was a situation around you whether it was a pattern that you found yourself in whether it was a relationship or a connection or even a mindset whatever it was there's something that you have walked away from and the universe is essentially bringing you a gift and a blessing for that for you choosing you and for you, I'm hearing to break the cycle. So you're breaking some kind of cycle here. You're breaking through it. I'm seeing a chain um, kind of like busting apart here. And I heard and the message came through that you are about to fly. You are about to fly. There's a new beginning that's coming through for you. And it's bringing with it a flurry of expansive possibilities and various different directions that are opening up for you okay and there was a message that came through for you that it's the freedom that your ancestors dreamed of the th the freedom that your ancestors dreamed of so there's something here that you're breaking free from and I feel like it's linked to this toxicity whatever it was and you're breaking free from this and um, it's giving you this sense of liberation and freedom and expansion that your ancestors your loved ones that came before you they weren't for whatever reason able to experience and achieve so I do feel like you know you have this strong support in the spirit world as well like really cheering you on wanting you to liberate yourself and break free from something here so congratulations this is a really beautiful message coming through so let's dive in and see if the the messages are um congruent with this message coming through or if there's something else that wants to find us today so if you're wanting to dive into something more personally calibrated to you uh, and your life path and your soul evolution and journey you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services and readings that i currently offer and book with me directly there and if you would like to join our soul community newsletter i like to send out uh, some emails each month to bring you support and guidance and um, assistance along your soul path and life journey and we do have a special theme every month as well that we like to tap into and explore so if that resonates for you again you'll find that information in the description box okay so let's bring through the messages and energies here that's what wants to come through thank you Okay, so you're, there's definitely a shift that is coming through here. So let's see. Okay, we have loss, lack, fear, and victimization. And we have duality, many meanings, and misunderstanding. So I really love this because this is the energy that you are moving out of. This is the energy that you're moving away from. So you're moving out of any loss or lack that you may be experiencing in your life. This could manifest in the form of a lack mindset or limiting beliefs, I'm hearing. And you're you're choosing traver to traverse through them to 
Um, I'm hearing wash, wash away, to cleanse, to clear. And there's some sort of fear here that you are overcoming. And I feel like there was some sort of pattern here as well that may have manifested in an energy of lack, uh, an energy of maybe even victimization. Like, why does ne why does everything never work out for me? Or why can I never align with abundance or happiness? Or why does the universe keep telling me no? It's something like that. And you may have felt that either you're going through that in the recent currently recently or this is something in the past that you've really been working to overcome here overcoming limiting beliefs overcoming this energy and frequency and vibration of alignment with lack with things just not working out for you okay but you're moving away from this now because you recognized that there is a duality to this life to this experience there's both positives and negative situations and of course it's all a perception but it's all a different kind of like amalgamation of energies that we experience as we traverse through life and our soul path and you realize that there's been bigger meanings behind things there's been hidden messages and reasonings behind things and you've really been working to shift this and to overcome this as well and you've been really making really great steps here because we're going from the number 34 into the number 36 so you are moving upwards you are transitioning from one energy to another okay there's also some sort of misunderstanding that is being cleared up as well so if you've had recently either a misunderstanding with maybe a relationship or something around you I feel that that is being worked through as well and that is being ironed out and balanced out but I also feel like this is a misunderstanding for yourself as well like you misunderstood something and I feel like you misunderstood your power, you misunderstood your worth, like you just didn't see something as optimal as it actually is. And I feel like this is about yourself, okay? I feel like you misunderstood your mission here, you misunderstood your purpose here, but in a way that you kind of downplayed it and you underestimated yourself, you've underestimated something here. And I feel like there's been this boost of clarity that has found you or is about to find you of like your reason for being here like essentially your purpose and what is unfolding for you because I feel like you're going from one kind of kind of paradigm into another paradigm I feel like there's a strong paradigm shift that is occurring here and it's like your past is going to look so different to your future it's almost like you're activating and awakening a new life within this life and you might look back and actually feel like I feel like I've lived a hundred lives within this life because you've been navigating through so many different levels of understanding integration lessons and it's all been an unlocking and awakening within you a deeper level of soul wisdom that has been wanting to come through and ultimately I feel like you have been working through a lot of ancestral patterns ancestral karma and cycles as well because you know I did get that message about the freedom that your ancestors dreamed of okay so I feel like you you chose to essentially in this life to untangle and free not only yourself but like your lineage and even like ancestors in previous lives as well not ju not just from this incarnation so there's a lot of strong energies and messages coming through so you may feel like I feel like grounding is going to be essentially really like important for you as well like making sure that you stay grounded because I just feel like this very like flighty energy and especially because you know we got the message that you're about to fly as well so things are about to shift okay you're about to gain like a huge leap forward in some way and so this might make you feel a little bit unsteady or ungrounded because maybe you're not expecting this or you're not used to this so make sure that you're staying um, grounded okay because that's going to help you to navigate um this flight that you're about to embark on okay so let's see what we have oh my gosh we have portal infinite mind awakening consciousness yes i love this and we have divine feminine magnetic and receptive power I just love this. I mean, look, you, we've got portal energy and we've got the number one coming through here. You're stepping through into this, like, like I said, this paradigm shift. It's almost like this window of opportunity, this portal of expansion and 
infinite possibilities is something that I'm hearing here. It's like your mind is expanding and you're seeing the interconnectedness between all things and you're understanding it on a cellular level, on an energetic level. So you're going through and you're stepping into this huge awakening of consciousness here. So this is going to be no wonder why you are being guided to, to be grounded because this is going to be incredibly soul shifting, I'm hearing. It's literally going to be so soul shifting, it's shifting you on a soul level um, and this is why this paradigm energy of one world into another and your divine feminine energy is going to be incredibly powerful for you to tap into as you are moving forward into this new chapter of your life here. You're really stepping into that magnetic attraction point that is literally magnetizing to you the opportunities, the situations um, that you're wanting to experience, okay? I'm hearing choose wisely, choose wisely. So make sure that you're not making like frivolous choices or like superficial choices because the power that you are being that you are wielding and that you are being gifted it, it comes with an essence of responsibility is a message that's coming through here so you're going to have this ability to if you want to and if you choose to and if you intend to manifest many different things okay so make sure that what it is you're focusing on and what it is that you're wanting to manifest is not only for your highest good but is for the highest good of all as well because I feel like you have the ability to attract a lot of blessings and and to gift those blessings to others as well and and so this is why the divine feminine energy is coming through it as well really strongly here. There's also something here about your hands that is very significant here. Particularly your left hand is standing out very significant here. There's something about your left hand, but both of your hands are very powerful, okay? Um, so be open to receive. Be open to receive. Um, really powerful energy coming through. I'm feeling a strong Isis energy, a set energy, ancient Egypt goddess coming through here. Um, so some of you could have those connections who are tuning in today. But essentially, there's a new beginning that is unfolding. You know, I did pick up on that in your pre-downloads. And we also have the number one here with the portal card that is opening up for you here. So incredibly powerful. Um, for some reason, I'm being shown a woodpecker a woodpecker. I'm not sure what the spiritual symbolism of the bird of the woodpecker is. So if anyone wants to just give that a quick search and drop that in the comment section, that would be interesting to know if there's any like synchronicity there or that someone needs to hear or an extra message. Um, I feel like things are gaining momentum as well. So if you're needing momentum, remember to tap into that feminine energy. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us and the feminine energy is opening up to receive, okay? So even though you're setting intentions and you are essentially making actions, taking actions and making moves towards, you know, your future and what it is you're wanting to achieve and where you're wanting to go. It's also important to open up to that receptive energy, to welcome it in um, and to know that you are worthy of this as well. Like really focusing on self-worth. Um, I heard self-adoration, so adoring yourself, you know, really bigging yourself up because you've got this beautiful energy of ad adoration within you and I feel like there's going to be a lot of others who also will be seeing you with this adoration as well, like completely also in awe of your presence and your gifts and your energy and what it is that you have to bring to the table, I'm hearing. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we have death and rebirth, darkness to light. This is exactly it. I feel like you've really done a lot of shadow work here and you've really gone to the depths of the shadows to bring through like the energy, the momentum, the clearings that were needing to come to the surface. There's some things here that you were uncovering and you really, like we said at the beginning, you've really walked away from something that is toxic. You've cleared it out of the, the energetic lineage, the energetic line and it's clearing through and now you're moving into this energy of to the light okay and I've just moved the card deck up and we can peep here sacred gratitude reverent appreciation and prayer so make sure you're keeping up with your gratitude like rituals like expressions to the universe thank you so much thank you so much and that's going to help you to continue to shift out of this energy of loss or lack if you feel like you maybe you're reverting back to that you know at any 
any point, focusing on that sacred gratitude and being open to receive is going to be incredibly activating and powerful for you. You're going through a death and rebirth, okay? A huge death and rebirth cycle has been playing out for you, okay? And you're now stepping into the light through all of the shadows that you have purged through, through all of the cleanses and clearing that you have traversed and embodied. So we have the number 19 coming through here. Now the number 19 in the tarot is the sun card, which is, you know, a really positive card to receive, a really positive omen. It does talk about good fortune as well. So if you've been struggling with loss or lack, you know, with abundance in any area, um, whether it's vitality, whether it's prosperity and finances, whether it's in your relationships, I feel like there's a light at the end of the tunnel energy that's coming through here. And it's all around this infinite mind and this awakening consciousness, okay? So keep awakening to who you came here to be and, you know, what you are wanting to align with. That's really significant and really important here, okay? So let's bring through some more information here. Can we get some supporting energies? Okay. We have Prosper, oh my gosh, sitting right underneath the loss and lack card coming through. You are, you're destined to prosper. You're destined to break through and free yourself from any like victim mentality, any lack mentality, fear, loss. I feel like you've experienced various different losses in your, along your journey. And it's kind of aligns you with this energy of fear of like, constantly being in that energy or constantly attracting that energy or like feeling like am I ever going to get out of this am I ever going to be abundant am I ever going to feel the blessings is this blessing ever going to find me yes it will just keep aligning here with these energies here okay because there's various different things that are unlocking here but it's like when your understanding unlocks that's when things are going to come online i'm hearing like more fully and completely and we have ease it's all about taking it easy again that divine feminine energy the universe is supporting you here to not push as hard as you have been pushing you don't have to really strive and slave away here this is this is exactly the freedom that your ancestors dreamed of this freedom to not have to slave away this freedom to not have to push and push and push and exhaust yourself Self. The universe is bringing you this blessing and gift of just sinking into the feminine energy and allowing things to flow with ease. And so this is an energy that you need to embody. And with this comes an essence of trust, trust in the universe, trust in your higher self, trust in your intuitive inner guidance as well okay, that you are being guided in the right direction. You're going to know exactly what to do. At the bottom of the deck, let it go okay you're being assisted with releasing what is not serving you and letting it go fully and completely once and for all is a message that's coming through we also have i am tapping into the i am presence and being really present in the moment speaking those positive affirmations to yourself and claiming that energy and that's going to help you when it comes to shifting in your frequency and, and shifting in that the energy vibration okay and that's going to it's going to create that residual kind of like expansive energy that's going to kind of boomerang back to you. That's a message that I'm being shown. You're very divinely guided. Spirit is all around you here. The divine is all around you. Okay, so keep up that connection with the divine. Keep communicating because you're going to get a lot of intuitive hits and you're being guided to follow your intuition. I'm being shown a wolf. The wolf energy is very significant here, activating your inner wolf, your inner instincts are coming through and your vibration is going to align with the energy of prosperity so that you can prosper, so that you can be fully abundant, okay? And you're becoming more of this. You're aligning more to what it is you came here to become and it's all a vibration and it's following the natural rhythm of your energy it's following the natural rhythm of your own unique energy field and energy body okay so when you feel that you've got the energy to take action and you're inspired to do so 
do that. And when you're feeling like you need to pull back your energy and rest, make sure you're doing that as well, because that's going to be incredibly assisting for you at aligning with the new possibilities and opportunities that are coming your way. Okay. Anything else? Anything else wants to come through today? For those who are still tuning in, what other messages are coming through? What other guidance? Okay, so we have the dolphin spirit. This and that are true. The energy of duality, right? Okay, so whatever you feel and whatever you think, right? And whatever you speak, it will be so. So whether that is seemingly positive, whether that is seemingly negative, what you integrate, what you claim, it will be so okay it will be true so if you if you feel like you're not meant to experience abundance for example that you're meant to just be in an energy of lack that you're not meant to be successful that you're not meant to have money or you're not meant to have a relationship or you're not meant to find your soulmate it will be so okay and if you believe within you and you state within you and intend within you that i'm here to find my soulmate i'm here to align with abundance i'm here to overcome all of my limitations and be who i came here to be it will be so okay so you need to recognize that and remind yourself of that and your words and your intentions and your feelings within you and your beliefs within you are so so powerful because that's going to align you with that paradigm that paradigm that matches that energy, that matches those intentions, that matches those beliefs. And we so often underestimate our own power when it comes to our life and our experiences and our trajectory, right? And so if you find yourself like not believing or, you know, feeling in an energy of lack, don't beat yourself up. Don't be hard on yourself. You know, we're only human. We all have those times where we feel like nothing is going right. And I'm extending so much love to you if that's how you're feeling right now or in the future, if you have moments like that, that's okay. But don't allow yourself to sit there. I say this to my clients all the time. Don't allow yourself to sit there and wallow in that energy. You know, feel it, purge it through, forgive yourself and move on and get back right up on that horse again and keep moving forward. Use your mind wisely. Your mind is such, I'm hearing a prosperous tool, a prosperous tool for you. So use your mind to your advantage. If there's something that you need to clear away, there's a, there's an energy here of having this beginner's mind, having this fresh slate. And I feel like you're overcoming a lot of limitations or beliefs of the mind. And I feel like however you accumulated this, it really doesn't matter whether it was society, whether it was someone that something, so, something that someone told you growing up, whether it's just kind of like an ancestral pattern, um, whatever it is, you know, you're overcoming the limitations of the mind and you can rewrite your mind story at any time. It's like rewiring the brain, rewiring your thought patterns. And I see you really going through this process now and it, it's giving you that heightened level of power. It's giving you your power back. You are rewiring your brain and it's giving you your power back. That's like incredibly powerful. So never underestimate yourself. Never underestimate the power of your thoughts to align you with that experience, whether it's seemingly positive, seemingly negative, like you hold that power. We all hold that power. Okay. So again, you know, that doesn't mean to feel scared of having negative thoughts that doesn't mean to be scared of thinking a bad thought it's not going to it's not going to instantly manifest so don't worry about that it's just if you sink into that and you stay there for a long period of time that's where you're going to align with okay so of course we're not saying here toxic positivity we're not saying you can't have negative thoughts it's part of being human but just don't stay there, okay? Allow yourself to shift. And maybe there's a lesson here. Maybe there's something you need to integrate from this feeling. What is this feeling showing me? Why am I feeling this way? How do I clear through this? How do I find this wealth of wisdom within myself? And how do I unlock that to shift me out of this paradigm, to realign myself with actually what I want to experience, how I want to feel, who I want to be, right? And remember that power within you. Anything else here? Just to close out this session today. Anything else that wants to come through? 
thank you okay so we have the water carrier coming through what really matters reflect and reprioritize exactly this is the energy here that i was feeling this card also wants to come through birth mysteries what are you being called to create exactly you are the creator you are the creator of your reality this is essentially like a a new kind of paradigm beginning energy that is really unfolding here that is really birthing through so we've got the divine feminine which is all about birthing it's all about creation then we've got like a baby here like in a womb energy in a womb space feeling protected so the divine is like i'm hearing swaddling you in a cocoon of love and protection a cocoon of light of expansive possibilities and awareness okay so really tune into that awareness within yourself you're being guided here to to create something you're being called up to create something here and the world really is your oyster the world is your oyster is a message that's coming through here but it requires you to really tune in to what really matters to you and really reflect on that there's an energy here of reprioritizing things as well some things are going to have to go because they no longer align with you they no longer even resonate with you and so you might be like stuck in kind of a cycle of like also almost kind of like automatic you're doing things automatically and it's like why am i doing this like why am i still doing this right it's like autopilot it's like i'm being given the analogy of when we're driving sometimes we can be driving a route so for so long you know from to and from work or whatever it is and we get to the destination and we're like hold up how did i even get here like, I don't even remember the drive here because you were so zoned out. You were just on autopilot. And there's a message here about really being present in the moment and kind of like detaching yourself from autopilot and really being intentional in the moment and being present in that and really focusing and reflecting on what maybe is not optimal for you anymore. Can you do something differently? Do you want to take a different route to work, for example, because it's going to shift the energy. So the more that you can tune out of autopilot and choose to do something differently to keep your energy focused, that's going to really help you to align here with the prosper energy that's coming through. And it's going to align, align you with the frequency of ease, things just working through for you almost like naturally without you even having to really lift a finger or really having to do anything. So reprioritize and make sure that you're connecting in with yourself. Take care of yourself as well. I feel like body care is very significant for you at this time. And making sure that you're staying hydrated as well. There's something here that your soul is essentially thirsty for. It's like you're thirsty for something and you're being called to create something. So there's a creative bubble that is kind of expanded from within you. And so pour that divine feminine energy into that because you're being called into through this paradigm shift into this energy of creation what do you want to create what do you wish to create what do you want to experience and who do you wish to be strong powerful energies coming through here remember this portal of expansion the infinite mind the awakening consciousness allow yourself to align with the energy of prosperity don't push don't push this isn't a time to hustle this is a time to ease into the energies follow your intuition remember you are a leader you're a leader of your own life and you're here to to step up you're here to step up you're here to achieve but from a place of peace and you don't have to push yourself remember you're you're experiencing and you're moving into the freedom that your ancestors dreamed of wow incredible what more can i say hugely positive and powerful messages coming through here today and i truly hope that you found your confirmations your clarity the guidance insights and activations that wanted to find you today so let's see what we should do i feel like drop a dolphin emoji or drop a sun emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading today if you have resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this wonderful expansive energy of prosperity of awakening consciousness and welcoming in your magnetic and receptive power thank you so much for tuning in and thank you all for your loving support all of your amazing comments it's so amazing to to hear your story and to see what you have to say and what you have to share and i do read every single comment unfortunately i don't have the energy to extend to reply to every single comment but i do see them i appreciate them i see you i appreciate you thank you for all your love thank you for all your support if you're wanting to dive into something that is calibrated to your energy field your soul path 
you can check out my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as my limited edition monthly special readings, and book with me directly there. And also, please feel welcome to join our beautiful and blossoming soul community newsletter. We have a different theme every month, all, all about your spiritual journey, spirituality, and I try to send out a few different emails in the month to help to bring you support and guidance and insights and any messages from a spiritual level for your soul path. So if that resonates for you, please feel welcome to join us over there. You can just head to my website and somewhere on my homepage, there'll be a box where you can pop your email address in and join us, okay? And we would love to have you if that resonates for you. And thank you so much for tuning in today. I am wishing you all the best and sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye.